I'm reading two poems. One poem I wrote for my father, and one poem I wrote for my mother. Can you hear me? Maybe. The first one is called Earth, actually from this little book called Elements. Uh, it's all elemental subject, written in a very elemental style. Very simple. So the first one is for my father. Earth, dirt. I do not think of death when I think of earth, dirt. I think of life, death. In fall, trees stretching out to the sky drop leaves and they become earth, dirt. Don't bring in the dirt, someone yelled. When I was small, my father wrote a poem about me, making a mud pie squatting. He was much younger then than I am now. I must have made a pie mixing earth dirt with water. Out of earth dirt, life springs. Every spring, I smell my own skin to smell the earth to remember the accumulated memories that I have forgotten. In order to walk on the right path, I lay myself down on earth dirt to look up and to float in the air. Occasionally, I even put it into my mouth to taste it. That's for my For my mother called fire. She was very cool. I mean, both of my parents are very cool, but I think she was extraordinary, like a feminist way before. Extra cool. Fire. Since my mother's advanced hipness picked brown <coughs> rather than red for the color of my school bag, that's true. <laughs> <laughs> when I was very young, telling me red did not represent femininity alone. The color red has become a primal source of my emotional anxiety all through my life. Red means fire to me rather than blood, and fire symbolizes tragedy and melancholy in a maximum sense. For no particular reason, I dream a lot of images relating to fire, like a typical war scene with heavy explosions, burning houses, a prairie fire, <coughs> fireflies, fire drill, a fire-eating magician, open fire barbecue, a fire ladder, firecrackers, fire walker, firewood, a firing squad as in Goya's painting. I never dream of a candlelight, <coughs> although it is fire in essence. I wonder why we use, we use the word light rather than fire in describing a candlelight. When man first learned how to make a fire, he must have realized he finally succeeded in betraying himself. Maybe he must have created a self-reflective image of God then. I once saw a friend of ours making fire in the so-called primitive way, rubbing pieces of wood together on her living room, living room floor while her husband was talking on the phone and her daughter was jumping around from the window sill to the table. The burning smell of pine occupied the light-filled room. I was mesmerized fascinated and terrified with the experience. She kept saying, it's not that easy. It's not that easy. You really have to work very hard. I cook food with fire as original men did, although I do not have to make one. Recently, I have finally learned to thank my mother, the first person to make me meditate deeply on the impression of the color red. In the club we hung out at night, 
I often let myself be taken over by, a, by the fire world of a small candlelight while listening to music. But even at the height of self-loss, fire and blood never mix in my world. Fire is closer to air than blood. It climbs upward. To me, fire is more about a yearning rather than a desire. It is alkaloid. It is light. It is Apollonian in context. It is more like a lake than an ocean. It is an apple. It is a door. Thank you. This is Steve Dalachinsky. So I just want to ask one question. They tell me I talk a lot, which I do, but can you hear me? Because I like to use a microphone, but I don't... Well, no, no, I don't think the room needs a microphone, right? We don't need a microphone. Come on, we're cutting into my 25 minutes. That's a good one. So I don't need a microphone, right? No. Good. This is a short piece for a... Poet I loved very much. His name was Jack Michelin. Oh. He's no longer with us, but he's of course with us. One of his most interesting short poems went very simply. All poets have sad egos. Better to dig ditches and look at the stars. Now I wouldn't say to Jack, but you know, digging ditches is not an easy life. I don't know if we'd want to do that. Anyway, it's called Another Conquest. I'll see you sometime in the right spring when the wrong turn is an inevitable thing and you'll cry a bird on fire, a fire on stilts, unbroken, unapologies, and I'll vent like all the other boys, unashamed and presumably naked from the waist down. And I'll come round when you come round one more cycle and released from your crotch, you swing spasm full and trapped in another vain glorious season i've encountered dead minstrels with my swelling cheeks heating so often lately that names and numbers their ageless ages so varied that i finally <coughs> come to almost understand the word immortal and you at this very instant speak of things as ancient as the world and the flow of blood and then the world itself pontificates <coughs> I didn't get my big cone, so I'm really dry. <laughs> the world itself pontificates like worms, like tired Atlas, like Samson after his haircut. And I realize that perhaps I'm only imagining our next meeting, that perhaps I'm only imagining yesterday, only imagining, 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 imagining. I'm really fucking this up. I'm sorry, Jack. I'm only imagining this moment of foretelling, and the blue of everything speaks to me, through the laws of stone and chance, even though this realm is colorless, like all realms are. After morning came and went, after noon came and went, after evening came and went, night is always someplace. And I realized someone else has now become his very own song, his very own book, breakfast for the worms, nourishment for the trees, in this colorless world, more ancient than the world itself, cranky and more dramatic than the artist's own words. And at this very instant, as if he had heard me, the artist places his hands on the laws on the passing sky and the fragments of the countless discussions we've had, and the windows grow dark and polished with light. Maybe I'll see you sometime in the right air, sophisticated and suffocated by the wrong ingredient, standing on the cold stone floor of some eliminated season lifting something that isn't really there anymore to your lips. Yeah, Jack was a heavy alcohol. It's called a promise is a promise. Pardon my world, visible only to me, my world, an idea, a secret, absolute as absolute history, as history the fool, 
and your direct reply, only you know, request. Pardon my month, my active, my passive, my exits, my exists, my secret elements. Too dumb for the smart kids and too smart for the dumb kids. Some now falling apart like events, responsibilities, secrets, truths, singular truths, exposed unique edifice, grand moments with the ghost of language, the ghost of Abraham, ghosts in high office. Skeletons in armor with swords, fuzzy photos like forced necrophilia. Poetique, psychologique, musique, catholique, esthétique, politique, mythologique, logique, alcoholique, at the core of silence, in the silence of the atrium, Abraham of the sky and the silence of the world, a silence, a silence, the secret of silence, the silence of secrets, the secret, the secret, the big silence, complimenting the sword, the tragic, the stand-up for their possible sins, the standards, the impoverished, <coughs> the children of Ishmael, pardoned, pardoned once again, imbeciles, noise reducers, reductive, attractive, distracting mal, infidelitous lecterns, movement. Pardon my paradox, my undressing, the precipice, the mayor, the light, the child, the promise, the sacrifice, the respiration, the inspiration, and the expiration. Excuse my heart, I cannot see it pumping, the fool, the cup of swords, the sour milk, another savior, another femme fatale. Pardon, goodbye my solitary chair, my world visible as it is to you, to you only, when an alternative to pardon is pardon, is conscience, is lost in the field of her inaccessible weave, departs absolute the incredible primary weave, the blue and the green and the white, Chameleon, white, chameleon, like Kafka, excuse, like Kafka, familiar but foreign, like secret, like making a responsible decision. Should I sacrifice my son? Should I answer the phone? Should I show compassion in an active or passive way? Abraham gave up his secret, gave up his freedom of choice, and chose to show his love of God, thereby giving up his responsibility. Well, pardon my fiction and my difference and my context and my soapbox and my real expose. Pardon my mammoth situation, my sacred text and machine. I am no detective. I am no backbiter. Perhaps the secret of literature lies in our ignorance. Perhaps, perhaps this enigmatic secret is nothing more than a toilet stall without paper. <laughs> We've all been there. <laughs> I was there yesterday, in fact. <laughs> Pardon my request, my reply, my recommendation, my not showing up, my facile facade. Secrets are secrets as absolute as history, as absolute as difference, as different as phenomena, as manifest as baseball, as attack-proof as atmosphere. Par exemple, what is the reason for Kafka? Explain the lake and its reflections. To respond to the cause, to cause the response, to confuse fiction with fiction, to exchange fiction with fiction, you turning in on yourself like words, excusing the past, accusing history as we write it. Incapacitated capacity, the marriage of two impossible alikes, the meteoric finiteness, then like entering a Mobius, the meteoric decline of, say, the giant squid, a message from a friend during class, the double and its doubles, the constant public excuse and spontaneous generations. And after all, a fiction is just a fiction, and the Bible is a story most believe. Pardon my father, my secrets. Forgive my body's chances. I am the evidence of secret. I am the difference I make. The beauty is in the beauty of the intricate field on her back. The news is only the news. Pardon all the water and the words. The secret is in the beauty, and the beauty is in pardon. And the beauty is in sacrifice, and sacrifice, and beauty, and absolute concern, and unconditional demystification. The democracy of choice, the responsibility of the politics of text, the luxury of thought inscribed, inscripted within the position of mad, 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 mad love, la more fool, mad love, mystery, to put the decision into someone else's hands, to put one's liberty into someone else's hands, making one function solely responsible in others' hands.
think and therefore I act. You think and therefore I act. Public culture, public art, public function, public edification, memories of a mongoose problematic. Kafka. Did Kafka ever forgive his father? As you open up, all things will come to you. This is for you. To you, to you, to you, to you, to you. Endless sleep, deep sleep, heavy sleep, heavy hand, tattered hand, beaten hand, fragile hand, calloused hand, pitchfork, nerve rider, staple gun, chrysanthemum, mushroom mine, shaft, sulfur mine, unwound shoes. It's hot, it's short, it's funny, it's a slumberless wall of sleep. It's your party and I'll die if I want to. <laughs> Famine is the oldest form of war. Crumpled sleep, loving, broken sleep, tinctures, everybody takes them. Icarus new. Soft sleep, soft hands, one hug a day, famine, mass graves, skeletal sketches, the mate of my dreams waiting for me at the end of this deep, deep sleep. Peel off my heart and place it next to yours. Where do you live? What's your occupation? What's your education? How do you look? Are you very attractive? Are you just attractive? Are you average? Are you skilled? Are you advanced? Does it matter? Does it matter? Does it matter? Does it matter? It does not matter. Are you heavy-handed? What's your religion? What's your ethnicity? Do you have children? Have you ever been married? Cultural interest? Theater, dance, music, art, film? Does it matter? 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 It doesn't matter. Are you married? Married? Are you married? Are you married? Are you divorced? Are you widowed? It doesn't matter. Have you ever seen a mass grave? A famine ravaged body? It doesn't matter. Do you desire children? It doesn't matter. What are your athletic interests? Are you very attractive? Are you occasionally active? You're just plain active? It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Where do you live? Where do you live? That doesn't matter. Doesn't matter? Sure it matters. <laughs> do you believe in angels? Angels? It doesn't matter. An advanced degree, a master's degree, a high school technical professional, it doesn't matter, it doesn't matter, it doesn't matter. Annual income, social situation, primary goal, doesn't matter, it doesn't matter, it doesn't matter. Sure it matters, it sure fucking matters, you know it matters. Sleep, so much for heavy sleep, REM sleep, it doesn't matter, it doesn't matter. Hard hands, soft hands, one hug a day, it doesn't matter, it doesn't matter, does it matter, does it matter? Sure it matters, my education is, my typical work week is, my single status is, my primary goal is, my annual income is, I am divorced, I am separated, I am widowed, I am wounded, I am a mass grave. I have every degree, I have no degree, I have an advanced degree, I have a master's degree, I graduated from college, I barely finished high school, I have to... I have to I have to date more often. I have a steady relationship. My typical work week is nine to five, afternoon to evening, late night shift. My time is my own, my time is my own, my time is my own. I'm not working right now and my time is my own. <laughs> I have great expectations, I have no expectations, but it doesn't matter, it doesn't matter, it doesn't matter, it doesn't matter. Sure it matters, sure it matters. Icarus do, Icarus new, Icarus flew too close to the sun, too close to the sun. Deep sleep, heavy sleep, heavy hand. Scream at me. Scream at me, scream at me. It doesn't matter. Sure it matters. It always matters. I have no idea what Long Noland's gonna do, but before that I'm gonna read this poem Noland gave me. When I told him I'm gonna read a poem about matters. This is by a great blind poet in New York named Steve Cannon, and the poem goes. What does it matter when nothing matters and everything is scattered and tattered and disappears into darkness? It doesn't matter, right? Mm -hmm. What would you say? It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. I need it. Okay, ready? We, I don't have any idea what she's going to do. We really don't know it. She has no idea what I'm going to do. Okay? See what happens. Dabalinga Elza Sophia Nuran, Dabalinga Elza Sophia Nuran, Prez, Konach, Betchikruk, Prawa, Edora, Ed, Sreba, Miss Katsamana, Oliso, Heleniak, Facial Infected, Wimmy Mendanka, Reiko, Hens, Ortinskia, Voce, Pachona, Sifa, Financial, Samatsik, Savita, Imoda, Imoda, Sempislandum Olafus. She ruthless, she fighter, she bullshit, she badass, she silly living relic. Facial, financial, voice type, Voce Invictus. She says, Oliso, Oliso, Nazifaz. 
She took a tumble, she diverted the wood. So much she so, took a roll call, so much so so much a So much so so much She Yo. is a polemic You are, you are, you are, who you are, you are, you are, you are, who you are, you are, who are, who are, who you are, you are, you are, you are, who you are. You are, you are, you are, who you are, you are, you are, who you are. She daughter of nothing, she free of family, she riding into her own skin. She doing that wedge dance, eternal stilting, tilting, wedging. It's unconstitutional to believe in the Constitution. <laughs> it's purely recreational to amend an amendment or to make amends or take attendance. Aim is to be likable, like, 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 like. Dancing is good for the Constitution. One's Constitution needs exercise, just as one's civil rights should be exercised. In order to perform an exorcism, one's Constitution must be strong, one's rights amended. One's like, shapes like, suspended. Like, 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 it's unconstitutional to believe that. It's purely recreational to amend an amendment. Momento, 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 momento,
when nothing matters and everything is scattered and tattered and disappears into darkness. <laughs> No.